Yesterday, as the night was uh, approaching, we got caught in a heavy rain uh, up in a canyon. Everything is soaked. Um, it was a tough experience. It was just pouring here. And we managed to set up the tents, but uh, everything is soaked. So anyways, if you didn't watch the previous video from the previous week, you might as well check that out because uh, I recorded a little bit, but we got too big of a trouble and I couldn't do any recording at that time because the, the rain was pouring. Uh, we were fighting with the bikes, uh, trying to get up the hill. Um, couldn't do it because the water was flowing down the mountains. So now we are stuck here in, uh, on a white rim in Utah Canyonlands and I'm not sure how we are gonna really get out of here yet. Um, to turn around that's one option but that's quite far or uh, we might have to try to walk the bikes uh, pushing one by one up that big hill. I'll show you it from here. So that is the hill that's climbing up on top of this. It's very steep and rocky and muddy at this point. So the bikes are right there. Let's hope no more rain, otherwise we might be stuck here for another day. Anyways, as always, continue watching and if you like the content, hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe. it to our designated campsite where we supposed to stay for stay for a night and we had to look for alternative uh, which was here down on the bottom of that approach we set up the tent everything is so the tents everything is soaked the guys are down there I put my tent here I wasn't feeling like looking anymore because everything was just the water was just pouring it was like major thunderstorm so today uh, we have two options um, one option would be coming back down that's probably about 80 miles in that wet dirt second option there's no way to ride the bike up there but there's five of us we may want to try push them up on a gear one by one and go around that big hill i think that's the last uh, steep approach that we're gonna have to deal with uh, before we get out of this canyon uh, that's uh, Canyonlands uh, it's called the White Rim uh, Trail uh, what we were told it's uh, it shouldn't be that difficult but it's actually some spots are pretty crazy uh, some spots are pretty tough uh, on the big adventure bikes uh, that are fully loaded we're riding with all the gear and everything good thing we have a gear because in situation like this uh, we have a place uh, for shelter. The sun is just rising and it is uh, 6.30 in the morning. The guys are still sleeping. I'm an early bird always, but uh, that's another story. Um, so anyways, uh, we'll see what uh, the day will bring today. And we'll see you guys on another great ride, hopefully. I'm not sure if you see that little fella inside my boot. The boots were under the tent. Uh, but he crawled in there uh, Another thing to point out just check your boots uh, Before you put them on when you're camping in a desert there might be a snake there might be a scorpion or there might be a critter like this one it Looks pretty ugly. So yeah, check your boots before you put them on in the morning
So the team made an executive decision and uh, we decided to turn around because uh, we, we met some uh, guys on a bicycles and they said that it gets even rougher at the top uh, as after the rain uh, it's not advised uh, to go there so at this point uh, we have about i don't know 40 miles or more to get back we are very low on water uh, that's the worst part uh, as we have no water and uh, yeah at least the gear is all wet uh, and the jackets and also that's keeping us cool a little bit and we're gonna try to enjoy getting back
Well, that road is definitely not advised for a novice riders. There's so many different types of terrain. We're not experts, uh, but we have a little bit of experience in riding in this stuff. But uh, if somebody is new and uh, would be trying to make this road, I would definitely not recommend it. Uh, because, as you see, uh, it is uh, really, really technical in some spots. It's uh, like the beginning part of it was a piece of cake, but once you get deeper here, that's where the challenge comes. If you do come here, come prepared. Food, lots of lots of water, because uh, the temperatures are just ridiculous. We were lucky, we met two people that shared water with us, and uh, so far we're still doing okay but we still have a quite a bit to go with just a couple liters of water between all of us and uh, another thing that's good that's uh, the clothing that we wear, all wear it's soaked in the rain so that keeps us a little bit cooler but as you see this the views are just amazing so if we're gonna get back we're gonna try back to get back to visitor center top up the water uh, the BMW Sartao 650 has to get to the shop because we did a patch job on a chain uh, good thing that he had a spare link with him so we were able to uh, to repair it on a go uh, but uh, his chain was loose to begin with we were telling him and uh, uh, on an uphill, it just uh, came off the sprocket. Look at this on top. I hopefully you can see that on a camera. But the camera will never ever justify the road uh, that uh, we're on here. Oh, there's the other boys uh, catching up to them slowly because we too, we waited a bit so one of them is uh, really really slow so we decided to wait and then start going again to catch up he has to be in front of us he's uh, he's, he's the least uh, skilled and that stuff is like that rock it's super rough so having the panniers you have to be careful so nothing breaks off <laughs>
Uau! Wow, this is just amazing. Seriously, wow. We are out of the canyon after two days. Now it's time to fill up the water. That's the most important part and drink a lot. Time to have a cold beer at the end of the day and call it a day and relax a bit today because uh, we are all exhausted. So I hope you liked that video and our, <laughs> our struggles in that canyon. If you did, as always, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. So there we are, dirty pigs. <laughs> you call this dirty? You call this dirty? In a second. Look at that. That's going through the power. 
you should see my boxes. They're freaking nasty. Wow. Lovely, that lovely. Serious uh, right. That's how they're supposed to look. Yeah. Serious right. Not perfect. Uh, Gorgeous.